All right, second story of the day. Ford CEO admits to a reality check when he took his electric F-150 truck on a road trip. So I recently just took my uh, my Tesla on a road trip and it was actually great. Uh, drove down the road, pulled into a gas station. This gas station had um, all the Tesla chargers you could ever need. There were probably 16 to 20 Tesla chargers there. They had a restaurant, actually had two restaurants inside the, the nice big gas station, nice and clean. And um, honestly, the experience was wonderful. That is not at all what happened for the Ford CEO when he went on his road trip. Now, if you're just tuning in, my name is Christopher Yule, and I love talking about stocks and finding those outlier trades with outsized returns. And if you're interested in that too, be sure to definitely hit the subscribe button down below. And today's episode is sponsored by outlier.com. Go to ovtlyr.com to find out why outliers win. Yeah, Jim Farley, he went on this road trip and uh, he basically said, man, this sucks. <laughs> I understand now why there are uh, a lot of people saying that this is just not cut out what it's meant to be. No surprise charging can be a challenge. Still learning a lot, seeing firsthand the issues that our customers face. Well, the customers are facing these issues because Ford was not using the Tesla standard, not using the NACS, North American Charging Standard. And so the Ford owners, when they go to charge their pickups or Mach-E's or any other car that's not a Tesla, are having to charge into these CCS adapters. And the CCS adapters, frankly, they suck. Um, they break, they're not maintained at all. And um, I, I, I don't think I've ever heard of a pleasant experience for somebody using these CCS adapters, CCS chargers while they're going down the road. Um, let's see, I think there was a, a, here we go. This is a fantastic decision. Electrify America is a complete joke especially compared to the supercharger network. And this, this person goes on to show um, how CCS non-Tesla fast charging is a nightmare. But yeah, I mean, for me personally, when I used a Tesla fast, fast charger, it was awesome. I walked up, I pulled it off. I, I did not pull the credit card out of my pocket. I literally walked up, pulled the hose or charger, whatever, stuck it straight into my car. It was done. And then I looked on the screen, it said it was charging at a thousand miles an hour. And so I went in, grabbed a couple of drinks, went to the bathroom, grabbed something to eat, came back out. Couldn't have been 20 minutes later. And honestly, 20 minutes sounds like a lot, but if you're going in just doing your random stuff, 20 minutes goes by just like that when you're in a gas station too. I mean, even if you pull up and you've got an empty tank and you're filling up from zero to 100, you might take eight minutes. Eight minutes on a supercharger at 1,000 miles an hour, that's going to get you a lot of juice that you probably didn't expect to be that much. Um, and so Ford CEO is saying that it was a really good reality check of what our customers are going through and what we're going to have to do to improve the charging experience. Absolutely. I envision a land where um, the gas stations that exist right now, they'll probably take two, maybe four pumps out and put in two to four superchargers at those points, especially when Ford and others are using the... Uh, the NACS, the Tesla charging standard here in the new future. Uh, I, I mean, honestly, we needed to get to a standardized um, set of charging cables. And this is basically probably the best example, right? He tried to make this big publicity stunt and it failed miserably. Farley said he visited a popular charging depot where there were 40 readily available superchargers, but he didn't get one of those. There were 40 chargers ready to go, but he couldn't use them. At least not yet. He was saying the... Uh, the difference was that it was so quick and easy, and it really highlighted the difference that nice stations and fast charging can make to the overall difference, right? The overall experience. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you have an EV? Are you charging on CCS or Tesla chargers? Because I can tell you one thing. The charging infrastructure alone should be enough to sway you from anything else over to Tesla until the point where everybody else catches up. So let's take a quick look at the outlier data for Ford. Ooh, we got a big sell signal back on July 17th when it was priced around $14. Now it's priced around 11 and pushing lower. Yeah, I tell you, the uh, Ford stock has been totally wrecked recently. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that they are, A, we covered on, a, on this, uh, this a few weeks ago, that they're losing money on every single uh, vehicle that they sell. Every single electric vehicle they sell, they're losing like $10,000. It's something crazy. It was... $4 billion or $2 billion last year in losses, $4 billion this year in losses on their electrical uh, electric vehicle division. And every single vehicle that they sell is losing tons of money. And 
they're going to have to get their act together. Ford is really, really hurting. And looking at the outlier data, you definitely could have had a nice sell signal back when it was about 40% higher than it is today.